Hello everybody, this is ZigZagZog coming to you from somewhere in this world, and we're back to continue our playthrough of Empire Total War featuring the Poland-Lithuanian Commonwealth, and we're doing it with Darth Mod in the 40-unit save version. Uh, well, we, we managed a big one, and that is conquering Vienna. However, we have this thorn in our side, and we're going to find out exactly what happens uh, when we do our next turn. Uh, we have a small force, unfortunately vastly outnumbered by this one, so he could, this army could definitely make a move against Warsaw, or maybe i will say, let's just gain back some territories and move into the vacated Breslau. Uh, who knows what the AI will decide, but I have a feeling they're going to go for my capital, which will be a pain in the behind. Uh, but anyway, let's let's get moving. We got a few details to get done before we hit that next turn button and let all heck break loose. Uh, we have a gentleman over here that we've recruited in the nearest uh, school to send him to now, conveniently, is down here in Vienna or near Vienna. So we're we're going to send him down towards this school and make this his goal. He could duel. Because he has, a, a, I think, a dueling trait this guy has, if uh, memory serves me correct. Yeah, something of a blade. As long as he's dueling with swords, I should say. Uh, this guy has a potential advantage for us. Uh, but right now, I just need to get him into a school to take advantage of his boost to research. And uh, speaking of school, I don't have us researching anything over here. I have one more gentleman to move over here that we had recruited down in Transylvania. And uh, he's headed off to this school. We're going to get him there this turn. His strengths, however, is military writer. So he gets bonus for military technology, a little bit of less of a bonus for industrial technologies. But I'm thinking right now I'm going to switch him over to the military technologies over here. That's what I'm thinking. Um... So he is in, what is this school come in yet uh, right here? So I think what we're going to do is change this over to a military technology, to be quite honest. So we can take advantage of his uh, abilities. So we're going to take it right there. That means I have another school and we'll just make it our newest one in Austria that we've conquered. Uh, we'll put that one here on the agriculture because I want to keep the agriculture going and then our plus research I'm not so interested in this in Krakow although um, I, I'm kind of leaning towards getting the measuring tools done unfortunately if if the advance against Warsaw is successful we're gonna lose this school uh, but this guy has plus one research and just general research skills uh, so I think I'm going to place this school on the measuring tools because I don't care so much about carbines on my cavalry at the moment. I probably should get square formation done too, but it would never get done in time for that Austrian army moving against Warsaw because uh, they, they have a decent amount of cavalry in that unit. So uh, we're just going to stick with upgrading the military syllabus that way to get us to the ability to upgrade our units even more and have access, I think, to grenadiers at that level once we build the, the drill school. So that's what we will focus on. Um, we have a tiny bit. Uh, well, actually, we have a rake. Speaking of extra characters, we have a rake to get moving. And what I'm going to do with this rake is get him moving towards and what's the quickest way to get there i can move south towards the ottoman empire yeah i think we're going to move well these are all via dirt roads but it's going to be slow but we're going to move through the forest here through the hills get down here uh, to hit the ottoman empire down here so we can start strolling along through the Ottoman Empire, seeing what kind of forces they have and where, and gain some knowledge and insight there. Because I, 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 for whatever reason, I'm not trusting uh, getting increasing our borders little by little with the Ottoman Empire does not give me great comfort. So let's get this rake moving down this direction. Okay. 
And that should be it. Other than having a little bit of cash, there's two options. I could upgrade a farm uh, to get to the next, le next level of agriculture um, research. Or I think what's more important right now is I can't even afford to rebuild these structures here. So we're definitely going to have a revolt in Vienna. And because of that, I think it's important to reinforce our army wherever we can. I can't reinforce that unit. I can reinforce that unit. It's expensive. Leaves me 209. Can I reinforce this unit? Yes, I can. We're going to reinforce all, <coughs> excuse me, all my best units that are available. My line infantry, get them as much as possible. Unfortunately, this one will not. But uh, a lot of them are getting replenished to full strength. And that's the bread and butter of my, inf uh, my armies right now is the line infantry. So let's get the him replenished. And that's about all we can do for this turn. And what that does is it brings us to the next turn. It brings us to this army right here from Austria. Where will it go? I guess it's time to find that out. All right, the enemy. And, and believe it or not, we did not pause this turn uh, for a battle. You can see his forces right next to Warsaw. We'll, we'll go there and explain that in just a moment. Uh, we have an enemy raid. Let's go find out where that took place. That's on our school that we're sending our gentlemen to. Uh, so we'll have to uh, see about rebuilding there here soon enough. We also have another enemy raid in Trieste and our, our port. Our, our, as soon as we get a port, <laughs> it's rendered inoperable uh, by the Austrians. Uh, but that's the least of our worries right now. Uh, we've constructed a building. Our government council over here is now built. What are we able to recruit over here as a result? Uh, provincial cavalry. So we have some uh, new war band. We have some skirmishers available. The Pandors and uh, Albanian war band uh, available, both with accuracy of 40, range 120, accuracy of 120. So... Uh, uh, we can build four of these Albanian warband skirmishers to help us out and have some superior range uh, compared to the rest of the line. Um, so that's a nice little fun upgrade for us. What else have we got going? Workers on strike in Austria. We kind of sensed that coming and not being able to repair government buildings after our attack, not having the funds to do so. Uh, so uh, let's go take a look at it. Exactly how bad the situation. Actually, we've got it back under control quicker than I expected, even without uh, our construction uh, buildings being repaired over here. We're actually okay. Um, we may not ultimately see a, an actual revolt over here. Um, so we'll hold off. We're going to have to repair some of these buildings in the town, especially if we want to be able to, to recruit over here. Because uh, right now we can't with those buildings in disrepair. Uh, we're going to have to figure that out. So anyway, as far as uh, what Austria has done, just so you know, they took this unit that was over here and looped it around here. And they've started con to consolidate their armies around Pressburg. The thing is, they did not go into the town. So we could work on attacking them outside of the town and not worry about the garrison and weaken them that way. One option. Uh, also, their main army came up here to Warsaw. It looked like I may have seen the siege symbols come out briefly and then disappear. So they started to think about sieging Warsaw and then decided to just stand here. So I imagine we can't move without them uh, intercepting us to go into Warsaw is what I would assume. We have, uh, fortunately, I was worried when I saw those siege symbols go up that that would disrupt our recruitment in the city, but it did not. So we lucked out there and we gained some reinforcements, some badly needed reinforcements. And we also have a couple more regiments of foot over here that I'm thinking we should bring down just outside of reinforcement range. So then... If they de decide to attack Warsaw, we're in reinforcement range. Now, I'm not quite sure that this army will be able to reinforce if they just start trying to pick us off that way. But um, 
And that's probably what I'm going to do just to maybe keep them distracted and slowly start feeling overwhelmed. And uh, we, we lucked out that the AI backed off and did not continue on their attack at Warsaw. So uh, let's bring this force over. So they're in re reinforcement range now with Warsaw. So if they change their mind and go to attack Warsaw now, they're going to have some more reinforcements to worry about. What else have we got here? The hustings are over. Following a free and fair election, the current cabinet has regained control of the government. So that's actually convenient for us right now. Um, doesn't look like any new ancillaries. Oh, there is a trait gain down here. So let's take a look at what that is. Plus two to management for army administration. So we'll go take a look at who got that. Maybe we have a way to uh, shuffle around ministers or, or this guy maybe... Wouldn't it be nice if he got it? Yes, he's the one that got it. So our army administration, that's lowering their recruitment costs, army upkeep costs. So that's got to help income going forward. So that's a, that was a nice pickup there. And this guy's young, too, at 30. It'd be nice for him to stick around, don't you think? Uh, we're going to keep the cabinet as is. The trade is still good. Policies overall good. Austria won't revolt any more than they have. Uh, so let's, oh, we got a new royal heir. Uh, the royal family has given birth to a beautiful daughter, securing the succession of a noble and gentle heir to the throne. And we've recruited our line infantry. So now the question here becomes, can we afford uh, this attack over here? Let's kind of take a look at the armies, what they have. Uh, we have a Hungarian a grenadier. So that's the first Grenadier unit we've seen on the board uh, that's appeared right here. And this army is still weakened. And uh, if I actually, if I move this force out now to attack, um, we would actually probably be re reinforced by our army in Vienna. So now may be the time to attack here. Um, and then uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I need to do anything. Oh yeah, so th this, so we're still researching here. It's just damage. So I, I, I guess yes, it has pre it, it has prevented us from doing research. There's no number there, so we definitely want to repair that school, to keep our research going. Um, we probably want to continue with our re reinforcements here. Although if they attack, that would definitely interrupt that. But if they're going to continue dilly-dallying here without an attack, uh, we're going to continue trying to recruit reinforcements. Maybe. Let's just take a look at this army once again. Uh, they have a lot more cavalry than us. So maybe we try to recruit something uh, to counter that. We have regiment of horse that we could bring in here. Uh, since I'm defensive right now, I don't know if I want to bring in the, the Lancer Cavalry yet. They're great for charges. Well, I guess we got to. That's, that's kind of the Polish bread and butter of the cavalry. We got to have some, right? And we'll go with some base cavalry here. And we'll recruit cavalry-wise to try and supplement us. And over here, we're going to recruit yet some more line infantry after that we're going to see if we have any infrastructure buildings uh, that we can upgrade and one of which i'm going to upgrade right now is a farm but not in the battlefield territory we're going to do it up here in uh, uh, lithuania we're going to upgrade a farm here just so this can get built in a couple turns so when we finish our agriculture research we can continue with our agricultural research and eventually we want to upgrade the farms everywhere to keep the growth going meaning the tax rate growth also growing. Um, let's see what it takes to repair this school. Minor costs, and we're going to do it. Uh, now we got to move our gentleman over here, and the question becomes, is this guy going to be stealing research from us? Is it best to try the duel to get rid of him? What do we say? What do we do? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and try. Just because it's different, it's fun. Let's do the duel over here. Uh, 
it looks like it's 50 50 he's four star we're three star but if it's a sword duel we do have an advantage in a sword duel so let's let's try this out and cross our fingers for a sword duel uh, this doesn't look swordish to me uh oh is that us running away i hope not <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so maybe we aren't killed, huh? So our, our gentleman got chased away here, it looks like. So much for our dueling skills. The duel has been lost. This fellow has lost a duel against a most worthy opponent. Honor has been satisfied, I don't know how, by us turning tail and running away, allowing him to leave the field with his life. So uh, I guess we'll just move into the school and say the heck with the duel. Uh, since it's burning and it's not doesn't get repaired anyway till next turn, I guess that won't hurt us too bad, I hope. Do we have anything here we can afford? to repair does not look like it oh well what let, here's here's one we can't afford any of the government buildings oh we could uh, yeah we'll, we'll we'll do this one alone just so we can uh, continue recruiting over here in case some worst case scenario happens over in warsaw so let's uh, repair that and we can afford some more repairs we are not going to do any admiralty repairs yet we'll get the cannon foundry repaired or can we get this no we can no longer afford this but we can the cannon foundry and uh, that's probably all that we're going to be able to do repair wise so now the question becomes uh where do we do battle do we go on the offensive here or i think we just hang out hoping beyond hope since they gave us that time that we can reinforce uh, here just a little bit more um cross our fingers cross our fingers and then the final thing I'm going to do, we're going to come over here to Minsk, Belarus, and uh, see if we cannot uh, get another farm upgraded here. And we can. So we'll spend all our funds that way. And we're done spending, that's for sure. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to have this as our next battle. Uh, we are They are not inside the fort. We're going to attack them while they're outside the fort and vulnerable. Um, in fact, this grenadier would appear to be fortified. He may not even be able to reinforce. So uh, I, we're going to attack with this totally healed army from the fort and see if we can uh, get reinforced by our armies here and just wipe him out and start opening up Pressburg uh, as a potential target for us. And so his Grenadier does still be able, uh, so it's not like other games where they're fortified, they can't reinforce. They can in this game, note to self. You know, other Total War games, if they're fortified like that, they cannot reinforce. But we do get our main Vienna army to reinforce us, so this should be a piece of cake. But we're going to fight it out, because I like fighting battles. Uh, so we'll see you down there on the battlefield. All right, so we got water in front of us. So this is going to be a bridge engagement is what this one is. We do not have artillery. I believe they, well, they might have a piece. Uh, so it looks like there's a ford area over here where we can cross the river this way and get into town. Or, and their deployment zone, does it include the town? No. Uh, so they, they, we would, it's not like we'd have to fight through town. So we are the attacker, so we're going to have to get near the bridges to be able to try getting across them. Um, we'll bring some cavalry here to try and get across that bridge really fast. And try to hold that. And then uh, with the rest of our forces, what have we got? Militia, militia. We're going to send the militias into town to cross at what I believe is a river ford over here. Except uh, we'll support them with some cavalry on the this flank and then uh, the heaviest of our troops. Hopefully we won't get bottlenecked. And we will have reinforcements, by the way. 
uh, we'll send our heaviest troops over here if our cavalry can secure the bridge. So there's our deployment. Uh, we'll have reinforcements, but let's see if we can gain the crossing for ourselves. And it looks like we may have that advantage. We're going to get our infantry units up here ready to cross. And we will start taking our troops here across the fort. And we do have, the, they do have one artillery piece, so I'm not going to be too concerned about that. And guess what? Our reinforcements are coming in to their rear. So we are, we are going to kind of halt our general here. We do not need to bring our general straight into the battle. cavalry yet. Uh, we'll get some more reinforcements in. We got our cavalry in. What are we looking at here? Pandors? Well, we're going to rush and charge right into the Pandors because they are prone to cavalry. And we're going to see about getting our infantry across the bridge as fast as possible. Uh, we're going to have them run across the bridge. Uh, I think we're going to bring some cavalry over here. Oh, we got, what have we got here? Regiment of Horse, Provincial Cavalry. Well, well, we'll take them on. And we're breaking their units apart a little bit. We'll keep the pressure on back here. There we got the cavalry we have to answer to and address. We outnumber them. So if we can, please come back here. Let this guy retreat, please. Can we, uh, oh, unless uh, Pandora's, wh why are we not able to turn and reverse course? Let's do it manually this way. Let's fight his cavalry. There we go, guys. We outnumber him. Let's make it happen. And our, we're, we're, we've managed to cross the bridge. There's just a lot of different things going on right at the moment. Uh, we're going to bring over, we got some more Albanian warband over here. We're going to bring our, cal our, our our artillery unit right here just to uh, rain down some fire upon them. Okay, they are scattered around a little bit. The grenadiers are down there. That's where they reinforced from. He's between a rock and a hard place. And there we go. We engaged. Let's continue our infantry movement over this way. Okay, they've got their artillery moving, so it's time for us to get moving. Oh, these are all pikemen. I was thinking these were a uh, regiment of foot. Uh, we're gonna send our pikemen out because uh, we need to charge. And uh, let's get ourselves unlimbered up here. And uh, we have some a uh, war band here. We're going to charge into. And we've shattered the cavalry here. We need to charge into some more of the war band up here with our cavalry. Keep them moving. And have our pikemen pike charge. And these pikemen are going to have to make an advance. Unfortunately, that's not. Uh, best way to use them, but let's get these units forward and advancing. Kind of scattered around a little bit. We have some more horse, unit of horse here. We're going to bring our militia over. We're going to start setting our lines here just a little bit so we can start advancing on the enemy over here. And there we have some regiment of foot. So our pikemen did their job over here, routing out the forces that were firing on them. Uh, we're going to have some more. Oh, we're just going to advance into the Grenadiers uh, full force with our pikemen. That's how we're going to deal with this. 
And uh, let's see, we've got our own cannon now firing against theirs. And we have their cavalry moving against us big time. So let's have a little cavalry bash here. In fact, we're going to bring our militia. They're going to charge in to support our cavalry with a little melee. Bayonets in place. And we're going to see, we do not hold up well, apparently, to, uh, well, we're holding up well to the grenades. I'm, I'm really surprised and shocked here. And uh, we're going to continue our bombardment here of their artillery, lone artillery unit. And let's go see, we got scattered forces all over the place. If we run off anywhere else, yes, our cavalry over here has been successful. Uh, so we're going to come down this way with our cavalry to start moving against their artillery. This cavalry unit is going to take out... Oh, that's line infantry. So let's advance on the line infantry. With our militia here. We'll run them into position. Uh, we have line infantry and others here. We'll come down here to run to gain a better angle there. And we're breaking through uh, on their hussars over here. They did not like intense melee combat. And we've broken down with both our units of pikemen. We were able to withstand the grenades of the grenadiers and we have shattered them. So now we're gonna take our pikemen over here, take out their artillery. We will silence ours because there's really not a lot we need to fire at as our reinforcements continue entering the field. Now it's just a matter of I should see about running down what units I can. He's near the, the, the border. Uh, so we need to just run down units, I think, with our cavalry so they cannot reappear. And uh, we do have this battle at hand. Okay, I'm just gonna continue on running everybody down. So hopefully as few as possible escape to battle us yet again. And it looks like we have managed a close victory. Uh, so we probably took our fair amount of casualties, no doubt, uh, with our pikemen being bombarded by grenades and whatnot. Uh, but we'll take this victory to uh, clear the way to take over yet another territory. Okay, we have victory. We, yeah, we lost 490 compared to their 685. I have a feeling a lot of those... Uh, Injuries, uh, if actually, if we take a look, uh, we lost a lot of pikemen. There's where the significant part of our injuries were, thanks to those grenades, and thank to, thanks to artillery fire and small arms fire against our pikemen who just had to advance, period. Uh, couldn't fire back until they got within close range uh, with their pikes. So that's pretty much what I expected. So a very minor force was able to escape uh, little Pandora's irregulars. About the, all that will be able to do is uh, perhaps harass and, and cause me to spend money repairing out, outlying little settlements. Uh, let's see what we gained. A plus two to command when attacking on land. So a nice improvement for our general. Um, as far as generals go, it was in this army too. So we, we are up to a four-star general now. Yep, we've gained our first four-star general. And 10% uh, to recovery chance of battle casualties. So uh, a dithering defender. Well, he's uh, gaining some uh, some other traits to offset that. All right, so I'm not going to move in because that is a sig. Well, I guess we could move in because that's a sig. That's a sig. Yeah, but 
then we're going to have to do battle. And do I dare risk them moving out and not being able to move back? But they're, they're so close, I should be able to, right? I should be able to uh, take this army out, attack Pressburg, uh, reinforced here. There's still a chance it would surrender. I'm just thinking they will not because that's a significant uh, garrison. And uh, we are hurting as far as uh, the forces that we have here. And I don't have the funds to replenish them right now. Uh, but I think, I think we have what it takes uh, to get through the walls, even if we have to battle. So let's do this. Then hopefully we can pop back into Vienna, which we're maintaining order in. That's what I'm counting on us being able to get back there to maintain order after we attack here. Uh, in Hungary, so let's let's give it a go. And it's a siege. No, I want to. I want. I want to. I want to attack. I guess uh, there's no general here. We might as well combine the armies. No, wait. Why is this army not here? Didn't they, didn't they march out? That's what I wanted to see. Why was this not coming up here? We got our full army here at last. Uh, this is what I wanted to see. Um, pretty significant forces here with garrison militia, garrison line infantry, um, little armed citizenry. We'll see if they surrender. And it's refused, because that's a significant garrison. We do have an advantage, but it's not going to necessarily be a cakewalk here. Let's hope our, our newest promoted general has it within himself to get this done. So uh, we'll do this battle. We'll see you on the battlefield. Okay, we're here, and we're set, and we're ready for battle. Uh, we've taken this hill position with our main artillery unit. Uh, to bombard a couple openings in the wall over here. Uh, this somewhat useless regiment of foot over here is going to guard the cavalry piece. I'm not going to send this unit in. It's just going to disappear <laughs> if I do that. We have our line infantry in the back. We have our pikemen in the back over here and our cavalry, most of it, in the back over here ready to take advantage of the openings on this side. Now, uh, the other cannon artillery piece, uh, the regiment over here, is uh, highly decimated. Uh, as you see, it has two cannon pieces. So it's going to take a while if they don't get bombarded and destroyed before then to get through a wall on this side. So what I have on this side is mainly my militia back here that are going to... I'm going to... Basically, I'm figuring they're going to have to climb the walls. And I gave them a couple regiments, a depleted regiments, a horse... Uh, to prevent the enemy from coming out the gates as they often do, or at least have a, a, something to address them coming out the gates while we're trying to climb the walls. So that's, that's the plan. That's uh, what we're going to try and accomplish here. Um, and I guess there's nothing else to talk about. Let's just hope we're set up right. We're going to uh, start this cannon bombardment first, and we'll go over to our other artillery regiment and get them bombarding. Let's get it going. And we want to come over here to our other unit. And our cavalry in the distance uh, and our units back here are within range of their guns. Uh, so we're going to try... Uh, spreading out here and there as best we can to minimize the damage that we are going to be taking. We're going to move our cavalry off over here a little bit, maybe to get them out of range as we continue the bombardment or commence the bombardment of their walls. It's going well here. 
And so far, they have not been able to hit or, or damage. The, the breaking through this wall is going to go a little slower just because there's not as many artillery pieces. Okay, we've hit the 50% mark on the walls with that round. Fortunately, they were manning the walls, so we were able to inflict some casualties there. Our cannon over here is still in one piece, and as far as their breaching through the walls here, it is continuing at a much slower pace, but it is continuing, believe it or not. We're going to keep an eye on this artillery unit here because the next volley is the one that should take down the wall at 95% to give us our first breach in the walls. Mission accomplished. Let's re-aim now so we can work on our second breach over here. And once we at least have our second breach, we will start our advance at that time. They're starting to come down the walls as they realize we have breached their walls to uh, plug the holes and uh, bring in melee attacks. Uh, they become a big melee mess, as you know, to get through those walls. That's what we're going to do. And the good, move, the good news now, compared to our last wall siege assault, is we are out of range of the mortars. So the mortars were firing right from the start, so our, our deployment zone gives us uh, farther range or ability to get behind hills at a greater distance out of the range of the, the mortar fire. So at least prior to the attack, we aren't taking bombardment. Uh, we'll take plenty as we start the advance. But it's nice that we're not getting pre-bombarded uh, before the attack. And by getting the breach over here, uh, we took away their wall cannons, which were able to hit us a bit more successfully. And we got up to 50% on the, the secondary wall here that we've been firing upon, inflicting some minor casualties in the process. And our second breach over on the front wall, where we already have a breach, is also up to 50% already. They just have a bigger regiment with more cannons, so they're, they're progressing a lot faster over here. So soon we will be able to start the advance, and the deafening roar of their mortars will begin. And the second breach has happened. Uh, I think what we'll do, let's, let's find out if this artillery piece... Let's just find out, can it reach and fire over here to help on the, the destruction of this wall? Let's find out. And the wall just got destroyed by the main battery and we, we've split their forces tremendously. Uh, what we're going to do with this artillery unit is uh, see if we can't focus on units on the wall that are stuck on the wall. Uh, and it is time to start our advance. We're going to see if our other units over here will have the ability to fire into the interior in any way, shape, or form. In fact, we'll just uh, see if we can't target this building uh, during our advance and maybe some errant cannon will fall on the enemy out here also, yeah, as we can see. As I, as I meant, Aaron's cannon. We, we can reach the interior, but let's hope by focusing on this building, perhaps, some errant shots will, will head into the mortars. But it is time for the advance. No reason to put it off any longer. Uh, against the barrage of mortar fire, it's about to begin. You have one unit of pikemen within this group of uh, line infantry, and we're going to advance in this fashion. We're going to 
take our pikemen forward. We tend to be favorite targets of the mortars. And we're going to bring them over in this direction. Now it's time for our militia advance. And if you look at some of the militia units, they have chevrons galore. So they've been uh, definite, uh, definitely pulling their weight uh, as, a, as a militia group here. So let's hope they can pull their weight and uh, find a way to take some walls here too. So we're gonna come down on these walls here. And I am, just as I stated before, going to shortly then advance my cavalry as we get closer to the walls to be in position to help hopefully assist when they try coming out either the gap or the gates because uh, I will try getting up on this particular wall section over here potentially with, with the unit on the flank here. And now it's the slow advance. As the units make their way forward, there's no reason to run and have them exhausted by the time they reach uh, the target. And pretty soon we'll bring our reinforcing cavalry up so they're closer to provide quicker support also. And soon the mortars will start their own barrage against us. And there they go. First shot of the mortars officially fired. Pretty soon they'll all go into action and the roar, <laughs> if you're the one advancing on the fort, will seem thunderous. And right now they all seem to be focusing out here. Uh, towards this advance, so hopefully the militia will have a chance to get in a lot closer before they start focusing over on this side of the battlefield. Not sure if we've, I've heard a lot of our own cannon fire over here. Let's make sure we're targeted on the walls here and uh, we can get firing. If they're going to stay exposed on the walls, we're going to try peppering them with shot to wear them down a little bit. Not that our shots are the most accurate from this position. did fire and kind of make it over the walls fairly near their target so let's hope we can continue uh, with our artillery on the hill in the distance to maybe get a lucky shot or two in here while we advance yeah and they really do focus on the pikemen we're going to bring cavalry farther forward just to get them closer the pikemen definitely taking the brunt of this assault and the brunt of the mortar fire. Wow. We're moving on two sides of the fort. Hopefully we'll have enough fortitude. Hopefully we'll have enough strength. Hopefully we'll have enough determination to weather the, mar the barrage we're taking run you away from the pikemen. I think that's who they're trying to bombard. My line infantry is getting caught up in the, in the fray here. We have our first line infantry near the opening. Let's advance to get some fire through the breach on both sides. unit is going to now rush through the opening. And this line infantry is going to come to the side, potentially take the walls. We'll keep this single unit in reserve for the moment. And this pike unit is going to be the first to rush the walls.
Looks like our militia has uh, advanced on the walls now. We're giving fire up here. Just trying to come down the stairs, or at least this, this unit is, is down the stairs. Uh, we're going to see if we can advance one of our militia units through the opening. With this one following up. This one maintaining fire on the walls. And then this unit is going to try and climb the walls. And we're going to try to reaching through. Little by little. Ignore the units coming off the wall if we can. If they react, they're militia. They react slow. Come on, move. Oh, we lost our advantage. We lost our advantage. We're going to try bringing backup militia into the gap. We're going to keep these guys uh, as fire from them coming out. We're going to keep these guys extra fire because I'm expecting the militia to not hold up for us. So we'll reinforce over here. None of our breaches are, are successfully working so far. Pikemen just retreating and retreating here and there. So we're going to keep throwing our pikemen in to soften them up for when we attack with our line infantry. Okay, we're going to bring our cavalry forward from back here. Bring this cavalry forward for support. You can see how easy. Now, now we've gone into melee battle here. This militia unit, hopefully our uh, line infantry can hold up well against the militia here. We went to bayonet melee attack with them. They're coming out of the gate here also to go against our militia here. So let's uh, melee attack right back. We'll have cavalry coming up soon, and our, our militia is holding up much better than I expected over here. Let's uh, get them into melee format and see if we can push our way through. here see if we can reach and disrupt a little bit around the gate area that's gonna make us go through here that's what's that's what it's gonna do so we don't want to send our cavalry in there just yet said just yet. Our, our guys on the walls, so so they they came out against this is this is my militia that was climbing the freaking walls, so they never made it up the walls uh, to take this gate for me to send anybody in. Um, so we're starting to fade a little bit on the interior. We're going to send in some reinforcements. Our pikemen have been battling strong here. 
Uh, we're going to see, since we're being bombarded, we're going to see if we can start forcing some cavalry through. Since this is our weakest gap of being held, they're significantly stronger over here. Can the cavalry push its way through? Because if they can, if they can, you know where we're going. Silence those mortars. Got another regiment pushing through. Let's silence some more mortars. Keep moving. Let's get those mortars. I like the silence already. Let's keep moving. Not get distracted in our backs. We also got to bring some more support inside the gates now that we've pushed them off the gates. Let's get our forces inside at a run. Let's get our pikemen moving up to help us out. And we may have just done in the mortars. So we got this guy retreating. So that's good. Uh, we're gaining advantage over here also, little by little. And the enemy general has fallen. Uh, now it's time to see if we can't get some more cavalry in here, not the general body's guard. To disrupt their units on the interior. And we are holding the center of the fort. It looks like they're all fading and falling really fast. We may have a mass mass route on our hands as our forces break through. It looks like it's going to be ours any moment now. Let's, in fact, they're all running out like uh, you wouldn't believe. They're running out of the fort as fast as, the, as fast as their legs will allow them. They are giving us the fort. The battle is over. The town is ours. The future Bratislava is ours. All right, we lost two two to one damages we've we destroyed over three thousand of their forces uh, fifteen hundred losses on our side now what we got to do is uh, get a certain amount of that force back over to Vienna though or we will not uh, be able to maintain order over there we're okay with order here just because we have such massive forces so let's start, uh, start moving some of this army over uh, along with uh, the unfortunately with our general, we can, we, we can start the reinforcement. So we'll start with some cavalry because we know they can make it. And uh, we'll go with some of our line infantry over here as we start reinforcing. In fact, we'll go with all our line infantry at the moment. and cavalry to reinforce Austria. How is our public order in Austria looking now? We, we still can reinforce some more and still keep the order. And Pressburg, uh, we're still hanging in there so we can afford to uh, spread, spread ourselves out just a little bit more. We're gonna move the cannon, because that is our main army, over to Vienna. And uh, we don't have to do much more, so let's take a look. We're going to move half our pikemen over. And no, we're, we're going to need more than that for order over there. And order is still barely being maintained here. Have we maintained? We Order has returned to Austria. And do we have order in Pressburg? Barely. So we, we were maintaining order in both provinces, both territories equally at the moment. 
So we've captured the region, put another dent in the Austrians' empire. Uh, they hang on to uh, Croatia down here, Zagreb, and they're, they're threatening a Warsaw. So they're down to one official territory at the moment. Uh, I think this is where we're going to have to halt it at this time. Uh, looks like we're probably going to just hang in defensively around Warsaw for the moment and hope our cavalry can be built. And then if they are continuing to remain wishy-washy over here, we will make our move against the Austrians. So that's how we've left it here so far. I hope you enjoyed today's battles. I know I had fun. I'm feeling a little better about the, the incursion against Warsaw now since they decided to be a little timid. And I'm hoping we can hang on and hold out uh, next time. So this is Zigzag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.